Hey, I'm the Grow Boss, and I'm doing that road show in Texas. And this is going to be a new segment called Where Do Our Magazines Go? Because, you know, I sell magazines too. I send them to all the stores. You guys advertise in magazines as well. So I thought it fair that we make a little video and see what actually happens in the stores with our magazines, right? So here's one of the racks. Let's take a quick look. Can you see how dusty it is? Let's take a look at Hydro Life. Can you see how dusty they are? Garden and greenhouse. I mean, there's four different issues of Hydro Life with dust on them. This Maximum Yield, beautiful magazine, sitting on the shelf with dust. We look down, garden and greenhouse, <clears throat> issue one, issue two, issue three, four, five, six. Oh, this is Canatalk. All of them just dusty as can be. We keep going lower. Here's a Garden Digest. Didn't even know that magazine was here. A Botanicure thing. Oh, here's more Hydro Lifes to fill up the shelves. Gardens and Greenhouse. Still in the bag. Garden Culture, bottom shelf. Some Canaterra nutrient charts. All right, let's go out in the store and see what it looks like there. Okay, so something else about big stores is this. They've got lots of freebies. Freeze bees, freeze bees. But the guys that come in the store, they don't care about this because they're buying 12, 20, 30 lights in a house. So they just don't look for that kind of freebie stuff. Here's some of my magazines. This was for the Grow Show. These are the monthly magazines. Notice these are up front by the register. There's no dust on them. Canatalk. I've never seen this before. Look how nice that is, right? A box full of magazines. It, you know, it's got their name on it. Super nice. There's and there's another can of talk up here because I, you know that's how fast they give them out. Here they're professionals, so they don't need all the magazines. But you can see they got more stuff down here. Gardens and greenhouse bags of them. So bigger bugs, more gardens and greenhouse. All these things stuffed beneath the counter. So here's one store with hundreds of these things lying around. Um, I think they print 11,000 or something like that. So here's where some of them went. All right, what else do they got? Some Hydro Life sitting on the counter. You know, I mean, they got that, a little display that looks like a Tommy with this. Packed full, like, you got to tug on them to get them out. I like these kinds of displays, though. I think they're pretty helpful, especially for stores that need to educate their customers because it's not like this. All right, so here's another display. Let's walk around it. It's got Gorilla on it. Gorilla's got a couple of different things. I like their advertising. Next light, green pad CO2. Here are the different cards that I put out. My magazines, Green, green Pro, ah, Mother's Pride, Botanicare, General Hydroponics, Next Light. Some cards from Next Light. More Fox Farm stuff. And so here's more of my No More Grow More fun fact cards for store owners to have. So here's all the stuff. There's no magazines over here. This stuff's not dusty. This is. They haven't put anything up there. But, you know, they, they invest in these kinds of displays and you can see the difference of what gets put out and what gets put in the back. That's why you should always go with like my No More Grow More, my Fun Fact cards, stuff like that that helps the stores interact with the customers because they put that stuff out here. There's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of the 17 things come from the Grow Boss. So literally like 45% of what's on this table up front in the store came from me versus everything in the back with dust on it has nothing to do with me. So there's different kinds of value in the materials that we put out for the stores, the materials that I put out for the stores. And that's the connection that I make with store owners. All right, so here's another display, right? It's kind of up front, but it's facing a wall. I mean, this is fast fit. They got a brochure, there's stuff here. Here's can fans. I mean, you know, that's a couple hundred brochures they've got here just tucked away under a shelf, facing something else, not, um, not easily seen by the customer. And that's a big deal on what I focus on is I try to make sure that all my magazines and stuff are up front on the counter, that they're exactly what the customer wants so the stores can display them in such a way that the customers can see them. So you don't end up like this or in a pile of dust in the back room. So let's take a look at what Abundant Harvest puts on their counter. 
right? We've got Link Force, Smart Pots, Max Fans, Atami, lots of good products. Vermicrop, Aurora, House and Garden, HDI, General Hydroponics. This is their little product kit. That's a pretty nice thing that they put out. Product catalog, Hydro Farm product catalog, Garden Science magazines. Right, this is what they got up on their front counter here at this store. And on this side of their counter, they have a commercial DE display. Um, there's no name of the manufacturer on this display of whose it is, but they got some of their boxes around it. And then back here on the counter, on April 25th, maximum yield, they got about a dozen of them. Some GH stickers, the Heavy Tees Grow Show 4x6 you know, announcement card, Abundant Harvest, some of their own cards and stickers. You know, they plaster the wall. All right, so I'm here at Cage Tomato, and let's see what they got on their counters and in their racks for media. They've got a little something from a Tommy with some uh, giveaways here, a cool pet age in the back, because every store needs a dog. These are all Hydro Farm catalogs, my garden science. You know, Green Pad CO2 does an excellent job of making sure their stuff's in all the stores. Here's a Botanic Hair Suite. You come up, look, they got a little six spot right here that holds some brochures. It's got Sunshine, Pure Blend, Fox Farm, Turbo Cloners. Right here's another one. I've seen this one a couple times. Um, you know, here's a couple more magazines. They've got some of the Texas Grow Shows on their, on their counter. Um, a little something they're talking about. Here's a sweet Hortelux mouse pad. I mean, a keyboard pad and a Turbo Cloner mouse pad. All this stuff on their counter. They got that GH catalog, that good looking GH catalog. They've got a classroom hydroponic plant factory book I've never seen before. That indoor garden, some black dog material in this case. All right, let's check out some of the books that they have in front of the Texas Hydroponic. Hydro Farm catalogs, Gardens and Greenhouse, my grow show book, The Invitation, GH, love this little book. Um, Maximum Yield and More Gardens and so Greenhouse. Um, some Solus Tech information, Canatalk magazines. I like the display stand though. More gardens and greenhouse, more gardens and greenhouse. Something from California Lightworks with a little bit of LED, but the customers and the employees don't end up up here. All right, let's take a look at what Bright Ideas has on their information shelves. They've got a Hydro Farm catalog. Some of the future harvest cards I sent them with some information on the back as part of the grow show. This is a Hydro Life from January 2014, that's been here a while. The Grow Show, that this is what I sent them as part of the show as well. Sunlight Catalog, some books, a DVD, they've got this one, my grow book on there. The Green Garden Guide, this thing, some more grow books, more of these things, Living Natural, Garden, Gardens and Greenhouse from June 2015, Maximum Yield, they got my books that I send them for the show, Garden Science. Notice that there's one left of this one. This maximum yield, good cover. They've got my gardens and grow rooms. This helps store owners sell more stuff so they don't have to draw the picture. They got a garden tracker back here. Some information from a hydroponic store. The next light that I sent them with some information on next light as part of the show. Infowars, oh, I gotta love Infowars. Something local, bio, some more of my next light stuff that got sent out with the grow show. So you can see what goes and what doesn't go, what does have dust, what doesn't. It's all here on the shelf. Um, you know, it's pretty helpful. All right, let's see what kind of educational material Bright Ideas keeps on their counter. They got a couple of stickers, Roots Organics, their business cards, Sales Mate, Grow Boss trivia cards, and the grow show book. They were giving away flyers and stuff, pizza. They let everybody know. So here again, my grow show books on the counter. All right, check out this super nice display from greengrow.org. It's got all of these pockets with lots of information in it. The problem is the information is irrelevant. We don't have anything to do with mosquitoes or fleas or rain gutters or lawn maintenance. You gotta be careful where you advertise. Otherwise, your stuff will just sit here, collect dust, right? That's why you should go with the grow boss because all my books are meant for the indoor gardeners. They're meant for the store owners for the customers to use, for them to interact and to use to sell more stuff. All right, here's something clever that they do. They keep nutrient information by the nutrients. They got feed charts, little slide charts, little things to tell you about what the nutrients are, manufacturer information. Fox Farm has a little six pocket display here. Um, Aurora, look at that. They got their book on top of the, well, that's been here a while. They got their book on top of the nutrients books on top of the nutrients. But it's not a bad idea, right? Customer wants some information, boom, you can just pull it off the shelf right there. And here, GH has some of their feed charts. They've got some of their pocket books back here. Dynagrow, Botanicare, Liquid Karma. 
they all keep their stuff. Oh, here's a little hydroponic nutrient concentrate something. Um, I like the idea, it works pretty well. Oh, hey, good to see you there. Today I'm at Texas Hydroponics in Austin. Zach's the owner, and I just thought I'd give you a quick tour of this room and what's on this guy's desk. Uh, here's an iNews. They send, uh, Maxfield sends every store that once a month. Lawn and Garden. They've got bigger buds from Advanced Nutrients, some random thing from Fox Farm. This killer notepad that Fox Farm puts out for stores. Love that stuff. You got a sample, a little something over here. That's what sits on this guy's desk. Let's see what else he's got. Here's another can of display. Super nice, right? But seven of the 25 spots are empty. You know, displays in your store like this have a way of disappearing into the background when you work here every day. All right, so let's see what kind of brochures they have on this counter. They've got Roots Organic, Dry Fertilizers, Vermicrop, The Grow Show, The Grow Book, a couple of the cards that help explain stuff, you know, the counter cards, and Hydrolife. This is a current one from uh, last month. They've given a couple away. It looks like they've given like three or four out of that stack away. All right, here's one more display shelf in Texas Hydro out here in Austin. They've got some of their own cards on here with maps on the back. That little general hydro book with all the good stuff in it. More Aurora nutrients, we've seen that a couple times. A GH card and something from Botanicare with uh, nutrient stuff in it. And this little thing here, you know, they got a business card in there and something from Humboldt County Zone. Lots of information all over the store. But it doesn't matter where they put the magazines because the magic happens at the register, right? And let's take a look at what Texas Hydroponics in Austin has at their register. The grow book, the schedule from the grow school. They've got the grow show here at the register. They've got this thing in a plastic bag that, you know, hasn't been touched in a while, but here's my stuff again at the register. At the register, why? Because my stuff is relevant to what we do in an indoor garden store. The rest of the stuff is just sort of everywhere. All right, here's another store in Texas that carries Canna products. They've got Canna, you know, brochures, Canna nutrient charts. Every time that they get an order every month, they get more Canna Talk magazines. Look at all these magazines from, they're still in the plastic wrap, right? Look at this. Lots and lots of magazines that just kind of stack up and build up. Look at how many magazines there are. Good magazine, but they're only as good as you can give them away. All right, here's another magazine rack. Let's take a look. Just product catalogs, rows of garden and greenhouse. They just keep shipping them. It's the new Max Yield. And then, oh, Max Yield, ha! Right, these are catalogs, catalogs. Let's see what they got up here that they're not giving away. Maximum Yield, stacks of Hydro Life. What else do they have? Oh. It's more stacks of Hydro Life that they're not giving away. Check this out. Now let me show you what they are giving away. Giving away, what do they actually have on the counter? Grow school books, of course, because we're doing a grow show. What else do they have? Let's take a look over here. They've got a big smart pot sign, but then they have these brochures behind it. And they have my No More Grow More fun fact cards that you can give out. Canna Boost Stuff. Canna does a good job of putting out a lot of material. Gorilla Tents, BioWave, um, Humble County's own Gorilla Tents, but this is what's on the counter, right? Look at that. Future Harvest Meter right there. The Ultimate RO, it's on their counter. That's what you want. You want your stuff on the counter with the employee. And on this side of the register, check it out. They got the Turbo Clone Mouse Pad that we sent out in the gift pack. My Grow Boss Roadshow Magazine. So they can put one in every bag that goes out the door. Then they have this, which is something local. And this, which is high mowing, something I've never even heard of. But there they are, the Grow Boss stuff right next to the register where the transaction happens. All right, so let's see what they have on their bookshelf. Dusty Worms book, Gardening with Nature, Teeming with Microbes, Teeming with Nutrients, Organic Lawn Care, Green Something Other, Ocean Deep, Aquaponics. Ah, here's that little tiny book, Secrets of the Soil. None of those books have anything to do with what we do here in the indoor garden. These are just books and they sit here. But just like you, I have to work hard to get my book. These guys aren't selling them. So here I am at the store. I talk with Tim. I talk with Troy. I meet the individual people. And that's what it takes to get your books on the shelf. I have to work at my product just as hard as you do. All right, so raw and soluble nutrients, right? NPK line. They've got this big display. They've got cards to give away. They've got books to give away with lots of information in them. Some colorful pictures. Uh, and here they've got these reader charts for customers. That's a lot of words with no images, right? Who's gonna sit here and read that kind of stuff? Gotta know your customer when you start producing your advertising and that's what we do. I know the customers that come in the store. They want big happy pictures, not lots of text, right? All this stuff is great, but 
if they don't give it out, there's no point in sending it to them. All right, so one of the good things about doing a grow show at all of these individual stores is it gives them something to promote. It helps drive people to the stores, so much so that look at what they put on their window. You know, the stores advertise the grow show on their front window. They put the stuff in the bags. They tape it to their counters because that's something the stores find valuable. Let me show you the magazine rack here. Come on. Right, so Jonathan here at Bright Ideas tells me the number one magazine they give out are catalog magazines like this Hydro Farm and BWGS. But when we keep looking on the counter with all the information, we see the same six pack that they had uh, at the other Bright Ideas stores, still full. Still full, they're all still in there. And when we keep looking, here's a couple magazines that we haven't seen before, Living Natural. Here's something from Kind LED. Um, here's my stuff, Grow Show Exclusive, Garden Science, Gardens and Grow Rooms. Here's two different ways to answer questions on those go-to cards. And then we start to look at the magazines that get shipped every month. Look at this, here's three can of boxes. That one's still full. That one's almost full. That one's halfway full. Here's three months worth of stuff and they don't give them out, right? It's too many magazines, not enough customers. Let's, let's do a quick gardening greenhouse count. One magazine, two magazine, three magazine, four, five, six different issues sitting here. And if this is what they're sending to each store, they're all still here. This is the one that they've given away so far the most, but they're all still sitting here. That's where your money's going, sitting here on the counter. Take a look at Hydrolite. I'm not sure if this chick, this guy on a bike, or Beck has anything to do with hydroponics. So they sit here. I mean, months and months and months, right? It takes 90 days for the average store to give out the 25, 30 magazines that I send them. So when people tell you they're printing 50,000 copies, you know where they're going, nowhere. Here's two maximum yield. They're all the ones that are still here, right? Look at how many they give out, not many. Canna's got this cool deck of cards, that's pretty sweet. Of course, it's not as cool as my deck of cards, the No More Grow More cards, stuff like that. But it's still at least something different up here. Here's some BLM information, some Ice Pro. Here's a Lumatech information. And all this information is meant for the customer, it doesn't help the store owner. Until you come over here and you pull up gardens and grow rooms with all sorts of pictures of tents and how to set up fans, filters. This is the kind of magazine the store employee can grab, answer some questions with, and help the customer buy something. Let's take a look at um, an ad in Hydro Life. Um, rewilding. When I look in maximum yield, I get, let me find an ad. Wait, let me find an ad. Oh, urban, seeks, urban Farm Seeks Land in New York City. I'm not sure if that has anything to do in a hydroponic store. Let's find another ad. What makes a successful organic farmer? It's really an indoor garden store. Um, let's see if we find another ad. Oh, greenhouse plannery. So something about greenhouses. Hey, do you sell greenhouses here? So here's a magazine about greenhouses where they don't sell greenhouses. Let's see if we can find another ad. The essential plant nutrients. All right, I mean, if we haven't done that one to death yet. Um, indoor tropics, that's an article about a store. And then here's all their, all their, you know, a bunch of other information. You know, we look through maximum yield. I'll pull another article. Wait, that's not an article. Let's find an article. Buffering up, growing strong, expanded clay pebbles. That's an ad, not an article. And so none of these things, we're an indoor garden store. We do lights, water, CO2. We help people grow plants indoors. I just don't know the relevance of a guy on a motorcycle or a chick skiing. So that's where your money goes. It piles up right here. Here's one of the nicer displays I've seen. Check that out from Vanderswan, house and garden, right? Lights up on both sides. Look at how nice that is. Now let's take a look at one of their other displays. All right, so here's Vanderswan's other display. Uh, hopefully they're marketing Emily's Gardens now, but you can quickly see, if you don't keep on top of it, how an expensive display can turn into something else and you're not getting the results you spend your money on. Okay, so let's see what Bright Ideas has in their nutrient section. They got the same Aurora catalog that we've seen. Reach back here and there's um, the general organics, PPM charts and nutrient mixing charts, the Flora Duo stuff. Here's that GH book that we've seen in the stores. Uh, we come over here and here's House and Garden, um, Humboldt Wholesale. You know, these are the products that you can give to customers that are interested in that product, but only if they make it back here, they're not going in the bags on the way out of the store. All right, so we're here at Texas Hydroponics in Houston now, and I thought I'd show you what they have on their counter. They got some location cards, some Clonex Mist cards. Keep on cruising, keep on cruising. Turbo Clone Mouse Pad. Grow Show Books, 
you know, it turns out that people keep these on the counter because they're half size. And look at all the space the big magazines take up. All right, here's garden culture and some canna. Let's see, this is an ESPN, that's not us. They've got a couple of books right here, this little one again, aquaponic gardening. There's a couple of more of those can of boxes, packed full, these ones are still in plastic. Ooh, I think she's staring at us. Here's another thing from Canna for the store, Canna invests heavily. So here's some Fox Farm stuff for their nutrients, we're starting to get used to seeing it, but notice no shelfies. A photocopied nutrient schedule from Dutch Pro, GH, this book again. Another schedule for their nutrients. That's about it here. And then out in their warehouse, they have another autopilot from BWGS. And out here in the warehouse, nowhere near the register, is another one of these can of things, right? They got lots of material. They got little four by six cards. And then if we look in these boxes, we just see more and more of this can of material just stacking up. They just keep sending it out. The trick isn't to send more, it's to send the right stuff to the store. And here on this bench, what do I got? Nowhere near the register, a couple of garden cultures and another box of maximum yield on its way out to the trash. Here's a box of samples of something and a whole stack of GH books out back. Going down here to their literature wall, Oof, stacked full. Here's a six display, some Clonex, a bunch of stuff. Come on, let's keep coming in. Look, there's, you know, there's banners and posters, Clonex and Great white, I love this display from Titan Controllers. All on your way in, and then we get to the register. This is from the show. Then we get to the register. This is what they've had up for the last month and a half or so. These are the magazines that they give away. You can see stuff at the front, stuff at the register. You know why they keep it at the register? Because it's small, it fits, and it's relevant to what happens in a hydroponic store. Let's see what else they got. You can tell a lot by a store from their bathroom, right? This is Hydro Shack in San Antonio. They have artwork on their walls. They're so inviting that they have magazines for you to read in their bathroom. Mine, iNews, Canna, Maximum Yield. Who wants customers to hang out in your bathroom? Hydro Shack does. So let's take a look at what's up by the register. Nice can of boost sticker on the counter, the grow books from the school, some business cards. They got a yeah, no, yeah. iNews. If we keep looking around, they've got clipped together here one of my SNS laminates and some other stuff that we send them. Helps them sell stuff. Ooh, a bunch of can of pens, can of stickies, can of books some sample green pads. So traveling through all these stores, I've learned a lot about magazines. One is, the number one magazine is catalogs. Catalogs like this are given away more than anything else. Notice three rows of catalogs, one of magazines. The next are my mini magazines. Now you see those on the counters of all the stores, and it turns out it's not just because of the best magazine, because it is, it's actually because of its size. It's half size, so it doesn't take up as much counter space, and that's why they're put in the bags. Also, if you're doing all these month after month after month magazines, you've seen in all these videos how they just pile up. That's because they're not being given out as fast as they're printed. That's why we just print and ship twice a year. That way, the magazines get to the stores. A lot of times I hear from vendors that they go to the stores and my magazines aren't there. It's because they were given away. So you have a choice. You can be in a magazine that was given away, or you see like in some of the stores, they've got six months of back issues of these magazines. So it's kind of a little more of a surgical decision. You can spend money month after month after month, or you can spend money a couple of times a year and make sure that all the magazines are given away.